So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to create and add custom notification sounds to your iPhone. Now, of course, your iPhone has plenty of notification sounds, which you can find under sounds and haptics. And then when you go to either text tone or new voicemail or all these applications that require a notification sound, there are plenty of notification sounds you can use all those. But let's say you want your own custom notification sound. Well, the first thing you have to do is make sure you have that file on your phone, normally as an MP3 file or any audio file, okay? Now, for me, the easiest way to get notification sounds is to go to my web browser and just look for notification sounds. There are plenty of copyright-free notification sounds you can get, but I like to get mine from a website called Pixabay. There are plenty of royalty free notification sound effects. So let's play a couple and choose one. Maybe this one. That's a good one. So let's go ahead and download that one. So it says uh, it's called error. Let's go ahead and download that. And it's gonna open in files tap on that and then tap on save to files and then choose where you want to save it so let's rename it so that we don't cause any confusion let's call it error notification sound and then tap on save so that file is now downloaded onto our phone and when you go to files you can actually confirm it's there now the next thing you want to do is use or download if you haven't already an app called GarageBand. Now this app is free on the Apple App Store. So you want to go to the Apple App Store and install GarageBand. So let's, let me show you the app. So on the Apple App Store, just go to search, search for GarageBand. And there's the application. It's free to install for everyone. It's by Apple, okay? Now, since I've already installed on my iPhone, I'm just gonna go ahead and launch it. And this app only works in landscape mode. Now, this is a previous project I was working on. So let me just uh, exit that completely. And start afresh. So when you launch GarageBand, this is what you're going to see. So what you want to do is go to audio recorder. And this is the screen you're going to see. Tap on the third icon. So one, two, three, this one right here. So tap on that. And that's going to open a timeline. Let's go ahead and remove this one from the timeline. Just double tap and delete. And then let's go ahead and add our audio file into the timeline of GarageBand. So for that one, tap on this loop icon here, this one in the middle, just tap on that. And that takes you to files. So just tap on files once again. And from the files, you can just browse or go to shared folders or recents and find your notification sound. So here's ours called error notification. Select it. It's gonna be added. There you go. Once it's added, you want to long press on it and it's going to be added to the timeline and now you can drag it to the top of the timeline. So let's go ahead and play it quickly. So there's our sound, right? So what you want to do now is export this. So tap on this downward facing arrow in the top left corner, select my songs and then it's going to put that song there and so Right now it says waiting. So it's waiting for you to choose how you want to export it. So long press on that file and then tap on share and then choose ringtone. And then it's going to be given a new name by GarageBand. Let's go ahead and rename it the way it was. So let's go, let's call it error notification. There you go. Tap on done, and then now let's go ahead and export two ringtones. 
it's very important to export to ringtones so just tap on export and now it's going to export that sound as a ringtone so once the export is successful you can just tap ok so now you can now use that sound as a tone for whatever it is that you want so let's go ahead and put it as our messages tone for instance so go to settings on the settings page go to sounds and haptics and then go to text tone tap on that and now we should have a new tone so these are the default ones but when you scroll down under ringtones you should actually find all the ringtones you have created using GarageBand and ours called error notification is here there you go so you can hear it there's our sound and that will be our new text tone on the iPhone and that's basically how to create your own custom uh, notification sound on your iPhone thanks for watching and good luck